tuning across from one of the buildings that was used in James Bond. I think it's important to use the same headphones for work and pleasure. Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com and today I'm going to be going through where to hide a transmitter. Um, and there's kind of kind of three key places and I guess a fourth kind of wild card I guess where you can uh, place stuff. Uh, we'll only be covering the transmitter uh, but do let me know in the comments uh, for the video tomorrow about uh, where you are having most trouble fixing the actual lapel, so the actual radio mic. So today just worried about hiding the transmitter because a few of you have uh, commented um, that it's tricky to hide that, especially if you have like a G3. Um, so let's just cover the, the three main areas. So it's going to be the waist, it's going to be the ankle, and it's going to be the thigh. And they're going to be for various different situations. Um, so I'll just kind of demonstrate them and then uh, talk a bit about why that's good. So, under the thigh. Obviously really good for wearing shorts. So a few things about obviously having it under the thigh. You want to make sure the transmitter pack is on the inside of the leg and that's obviously just going to be the easiest place to hide it. This is great for on uh, costumes for females or males wearing skirts or kilts. Um, and yeah, you just basically can't put it on the ankle because the legs are showing and maybe they've got a tight fitting top. Um, so on the inside of the leg is really, really good and uh, quite comfy. Make sure you get one with a good strap on the inside that doesn't fall down. can get tricky sometimes when people are wearing tights. Um, so that's another thing we can cover in another episode. And let's go on to the ankle. Then we have the ankle. So what you're going to do is pull down the sock if they're wearing a sock. And you're going to simply be able to attach. Again, usually having the transmitter on the inner side or the outer side. And then what I like to do is you put the sock over the top just for a added hold. And then you can put that over. So I recommend the ankle because then using it kind of, um, especially all day, um, it can get obviously like really uncomfortable for the actor or actress if they have it around their waist or even sometimes a thigh, particularly if you're having trouble with tights and it's slipping down all the time. Um, obviously when it's possible to use the ankle, um, I, I kind of recommend it. Quite a lot of people find it very comfy. Um, but again, everyone has their own preference. So let's go on to the final one, which is probably the one you're most likely to use, and then we'll finish off with the wild card. So with the waist, obviously, you can have it uh, in various different heights. Usually it's right in the back, in what's called the small of the back, just because the little arch, really easy to hide, and you can obviously actually move the whole pouch down. You don't have to strap it around the middle of uh, kind of over the stomach. You can do it more towards where the trousers are. Again, this is obviously depending on costume, but it's just a, another great idea just to kind of take off that kind of restrictive feel for your actor or actress. So, now for a few little wild cards. So, it'll kind of work if you have it in a pocket. Uh, you can put it inside a jacket pocket. Really easy. So there's kind of four kind of main ways, um, and then obviously the final way, well, three ways you basically need a sort of mic belt for, and then the fourth kind of wild cards are essentially whatever the talent is uh, wearing to uh, make it work. Obviously, depending on the scenario, whether it's drama, whether it's corporate, um, and whatever the shot is, then obviously you might not have to worry about where the cable is. Um, obviously, these are mainly based on a kind of narrative drama shooting where you need to conceal absolutely everything um, and also have it comfy for kind of your, uh, your actors or talent to um, walk around. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can of course subscribe for a video tomorrow.